All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and some more Bolt action for us here. We're continuing on with reviewing the missions here from the core book before we get on to some of the other things in the book here, but also the expansions and campaigns and so on and so forth. So today we're looking at uh, point defense, which is, again, is another one of the attacker defender scenarios here. So, and we do get a map with that as well. So as we can see, the defender set up zone. So point defense, what is this one all about? The enemy is occupying a perfect defensive position. It's your mission to basically push them out and then send them packing. So the setup for this one, both players roll a die. High score is going to be choosing, again, the, the role that they want to pick. Defender basically gets... Uh, a side of the table and then sets up at least half their units uh, in the setup area as we see on the map. Um, and then these units can be used or use the uh, hidden setup rules. And then from there, um, you set up the force. Again, you must dominate three separate objectives in their setup zone. All objectives must be at least six inches from the defender's table edge. In addition, all objectives must be at least 24 from each other. So you'll have that to deal with there. And again, terrain will influence that somewhat as well. These objectives could be tactically important positions such as buildings or hilltops or something. So basically use something suitable to make it a little more interesting as opposed to just like a typical marker like a poker chip or something like that. I mean, obviously, if nothing else is available, go for that. But, you know, if you, if you want to make it more cinematic and more interesting, certainly make it like something actually worth fighting over. So then the... Um, the attacker's units are not set up on the table at the start of the game. They have to nominate at least half their force for the first wave. Could be the whole army if you want, and then, you know, you could essentially try to overwhelm the opponent early while they're still, or overwhelm the defender while they're still waiting on reserves. The attacker must try and capture the three objectives. The defender must try and stop them. Pretty simple stuff there. Um, now, the attacker does get the benefit of a preparatory bombardment, and again, we've talked about that over the course of the different scenarios here, so, you know, if you're rolling really hot on that, it can be absolutely brutal to deal with, um, and, you know, just uh, really hammers uh, a defender if you're just rolling hot on that, sometimes uh, to the point where it can almost sort of determine the game on the first turn, depending on what all is going on, but... Um, ideally, uh, at some point, I wish that they were, they would work a sort of different system for these bombardments. So, basically, um, on a two-up, uh, you get the enemy positions there that you hit uh, on the two uh, on the preparatory bombardment. So, obviously, great if a one's rolled for the defender, nothing happens. But most of the time, the, the bombardment is going to hit. So, in there, you could play with some different rules too. Again, maybe something with um, weather or other factors that just maybe lower that roll a bit, maybe like on a three up the bombardment hits or something like that. The first turn, the battle begins. So during turn one, the attacker must move their first wave onto the table and they have to enter from any point on the attacker's table edge. And basically, you know, they run or walk on and there's no test required for that. Game duration here, basically, so this one actually is going to not be an overly long one necessarily, so at the end of turn 6 is when you start rolling with the possibility of an extra turn. So victory, pretty simple stuff here. So at the end of the game, um, here's how we calculate. If the attacker holds 2 or 3 objectives, the attacker wins. If the attacker holds 1 objective, it's a draw. So you have to at least pull 1 to make it a draw. Um, so, and you know, that's something where the opponent, uh, the defender can play, you know, if it looks like it's going to be a pretty rough game, you know, you um, really just have to focus on holding two of them. You can give the attacker one and then just, you know, try your best to maintain two at the end, just to at least pull a draw out of it. Now, ideally, you can play for the win yourself, but it's going to be a little bit tougher, right? Uh, especially if your reserves fail to materialize, as so often happens. All objectives are held by the defender at the start of the game, regardless of where the troops are positioned. If the objective changes hands during the game, then it remains under control of that side until it's taken back. So to capture an objective, there must be a model from one of your infantry or artillery units or a transport um, a transport unit um, within three at the start of the sorry at the end of the turn, and there must be no enemy within three of it as well. Once you capture an objective, uh, an objective, you hold it until the enemy captures it back. So you can get there, capture it, and then kind of move off again. So again, because this is this is just the rule for capturing it, not necessarily holding it, right? So you can sort of reset it, capture it, and then move away to do your thing. So um, 
and that's basically all you got to do there. So again, very similar to some of the other missions in some regards. Again, the preparatory bombardment, as we said, can be uh, very devastating if it just if if everything's rolling hot for the attacker. But again, different things that we can use to make this interesting. So you know, point defense with again all the usual variations such as weather and other um, types of fighting conditions, night fighting, and so on and so forth. Now, could be interesting too um, if the attacker, sorry, if the defender, not only instead of having just specific objectives to take, but maybe you know giving the defender uh, something like either a bunker or you know like a more of a fortified machine gun nest or something like that, um, and just again making it a little bit more cinematic, but also maybe some tougher objectives to fight over, or even like maybe uh, an emplacement um, with some sort of other weapon or. Uh, other just uh, vital uh, objective again that's going to be worth uh, attacking or defending so and could be interesting to make sort of other special rules around those but again something like maybe a fortified um, like machine gun pillbox or something like that um, or even several of those and just giving the defender something extra could be could be really fun so you know whether again machine gun positions extra mortars you know outside of the normal sort of army list um options there so it just could be different things like that to try out but overall a fun one uh and again the fact with the objectives again just a little bit of flexibility in placing those and and, and just uh, not just making it sort of the the typical um, you know smash your opponent but really um this is just a good one for uh, objectives period now again you could do some variations too you know rather than three you know change the numbers up add more maybe add ones of different value things like that throw in some of the other types of uh, missions as maybe like uh, something like secondary uh, objectives so you know maybe not only does the uh, attacker have to at least grab some objectives but maybe they do have to you know uh, take out a certain uh, commander that the defender has or something like that so you know you could add in sort of you know sort of a VIP uh, target objective or knocking out maybe the opponent's most expensive vehicle or something along those lines just to spice things up as well so really interesting scenario overall definitely a fun one to play hit us up in the comments as always guys let us know what you think of point defense is this one of your favorites what are some of your best experiences playing it um, hit us up again we'll be in the comments with you guys thanks so much as always like and subscribe if you haven't already and we will be continuing on with the 10th one which as you can see there will be hold until relieved which is another fun one so we'll see you next time guys take care